Hi everyone, welcome back to Coding Heights. So today we are going to solve problem number 268 missing number. Okay, I will show you three simple methods. The first one is using set and second one is using sum method and third one is using XOR. Okay, so here given an array containing n distinct numbers in the range of 0 to n, return the only number in the range that is missing from that array. As I told, we are given an example of uh, three numbers in this list that is uh, from 0 to uh, 3, right? So, in this case, we know that the number 2 is missing in this uh, list. Like the list should be something like 0, 1, 2, 3, right? So, this should be our uh, list but here we are missing number 2, right? So, how we can solve this problem is... We will make a set or we will create a set with a number from 0 to n. Okay. So, here we will first create a set uh, with this number from 0 to 3. So, our set will be something like 0, 1, 2 and 3. So, this will be the new set we are creating. Okay? We will simply subtract uh, the set uh, like 3, 0, 1 okay in this case we will get a result as 2 like 0 is in both set so it will uh, remove then 1 also removed then 3 also removed so our output will be 2 clear so here the time complexity of this solution is order of n so we are using a separate memory for set right because of that uh, the space complexity is also order of n okay so, this is the easiest solution but the problem is we are using extra space. So, we can optimize this, this problem in a more better way. I will show that. First, we will try to code this. So, first we will find uh, length of our array that is our n, right? So, that is length of nums. Then, I want to uh, create a set, right? With the actual numbers. I mean, include the missing number also. So, we can uh, give a name as full set full set is equal to set of uh, range of n plus 1 that means we are getting numbers from 0 to n okay we need to convert uh, this input nums list to a set right so i can uh, give a name as num set equal to set of nums okay so this is our uh, num set now we need to find the missing number right so, here missing number equal to, we need to find the difference between both the set, right? So, here I can write something like full set minus num set, okay? But here one problem is there, like they are telling like uh, you need to return integer type, I mean a single data. But here it will be like a set only. So, here we need to extract a single element like this we can do like this dot pop okay so this will extract a single element from the set and we can return it okay so we can simply return this missing number Now we will submit it. We can reduce the number of lines in this code. I will show that also. We changed this this much code to a single line of code. Okay, how we are solving this problem in this method is no uh, n is three, like the length of numbers. So here uh, the list should be something like this: zero, one, two, three, right? So what we are going to do is we will calculate uh, the sum of numbers of the given a list as well as the list we are making with this range okay so here sum is uh, something like 4 right 
here sum sum is uh, 6 right so what we are going to do next is we will subtract this numbers i mean the num sum we are getting from this list so here the answer is 2 here we are finding the sum of the input list as well as the list we are making from that range i mean from that n then we will calculate the difference so the difference will be the missing number right we are not using any extra space to store anything so because of that the space complexity is order of one only we are traversing the array only one time because of that uh, the time complexity is order of n only clear so time complexity is order of n and space complexity is order of one okay so now we will try to implement this logic um, we will calculate uh, our expected sum i mean including the missing number okay so expected sum equal to sum of a uh, range of length of nums plus one right i include plus one then only it will come till n right otherwise it will uh, take n minus one that is the thing okay next we need to find the actual sum i mean sum of the numbers they are given right so here we can do something like this sum of nums okay and now we need to oh, find our missing number equal to this expected sum minus actual sum right okay now we can simply uh, return the missing sum. This code also we can make simple as we did before. That also I will uh, show you. Here we can return missing number. Now I will run this code. Yeah, I gave your number as sum here. Okay, now run this. submit you now it is more better right here also we can uh, make it make this code more simple that also i will show you here um, we can just return sum of i will just copy from here minus here we no need to uh, initialize separate variables for each thing we can make this a single line of code also why i am writing these all things because as a beginner uh, maybe they can understand better that is why i am trying like this way but those who are uh, more familiar like this kind of coding it is okay they can try yeah now it is done right so our third method is using xor i will explain what is this xor mean don't worry so xor means exclusive or okay exclusive or means for example binary operations binary means for example if i have uh, some numbers like for example uh, we will take our input array like uh, 0 1 3 right so in this case 0 we can uh, represent as only and 1 we can represent as uh, 0 0 1 and 3 we can uh, represent as 0 1 1 okay so this is the binary representation of this number so how this we are xor two numbers for example in this case if i am xoring number 0 and 1 so uh, 0 then XOR symbol is like this, okay. If I am doing 0, XOR 1, how it is calculating is, it will take this 0 and 1 like this. And here the trick is, if these two numbers are opposite, if the two bits are same, then the result is 0. So, in this case, it is not same, right. So, here 1. Whenever both are same, this output will be 0. This is the logic of uh, XOR, okay. So, this is one simple example I am showing you. This is 0 XOR 1 
and the logic is like that if the two bits are same then the output will be 0 and if the two bits are different then the output will be 1 okay so of a number with itself is also 0 for example if I am uh, exhorting 1 with 1 that is also answer is 0 that means like both are same right 1 is mean uh, 0 0 1 and again 0 0 1 so I told if both the bits are same then it will be 0 right so that is one property of XOR like a number XOR itself is 0 and also one property we can say uh, like XOR a number with the, uh, 0 is also that number that is also one property okay this logic we are going to implement in our problem this is our input right 0 1 3 I think now the logic is like when we are exhoring this number with the range for example in this this is our input right so this uh, 0 1 3 is our input and we are exhoring this with the range of numbers I mean uh, 0 1 2 3 okay I mean I am exhoring this 0 1 3 uh, with this list of numbers I mean from 0 to n okay in that case as, as the property we understood like that if both the numbers are same then it will cancel as 0 right so this will cancel and this will cancel and this will cancel right so the answer will be 2 so this is the logic we are going to implement clear when we XOR all numbers from 0 to n and XOR all numbers in the given list so the duplicate cancel each other out leaving only the missing number that logic we are going to implement here okay so this is our third method method 3 so in this method uh, how I am going to solve is I will find the length of our uh, list that is n equal to length of nums okay this is our list then I will make our XOR result as initially 0 First step what I am going to do is I will uh, make an XOR of all the numbers from 0 to 3. Okay. Here 4 i in a range of n plus 1. Why I am going giving n plus 1 because I want to include n as also. Right. Then I can uh, simply XOR result. equal to i that means it will XOR from each number okay so we need to uh, do XOR of all the numbers in this nums list right that also we can do uh, like 4 num in nums XOR a result equal to num right so now our result will be in this XOR result okay so first we XORed the ranges from 1 to n plus 1 to n I mean and then with that this num so whatever number is your different that only will be in this XOR result we can simply return that thing Now I will run this code, submit, you can see it is working right. So this is also with the time complexity of order of n and space complexity of order of 1 as we are not using any um, extra memory and here you can notice that we are using two for loop okay it's not means that the time complexity is order of n square if it is a nested loop we can say it as a order of n square if we can say this as order of 2n but we are ignoring that too that is why we are saying order of n as time complexity so that's it for today's video we understood three methods first is using set method 
so here the concept is set subtraction and the time complexity is order of n also the space complexity is order of n and the second method we learned is sum method using sum and range here the uh, space complexity is order of n only and time complexity is order of n and the last one was xor method this is uh, like a bitwise operation and here the time complexity is order of n and space complexity is order of 1 only. Okay. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.